this is class one of listening section. Uh, we have completed reading section and I believe that you have gained confidence in reading section. Okay, uh, you need to practice continuously. Do not stop practicing because practice makes one perfect, right? Okay, so this is the listening section and I will begin this class with basics. And in class one, we will only talk about the basics and from class two, we will start talking and practicing, uh, practicing, yes, practicing individual questions. We will uh, talk about the questions in details. We will analyze the questions and know the strategies, appropriate steps and method to do each question. So this is class one and I will go directly to the basics and this is a blank screen because I want you to uh, to have a copy a notebook before you and I want you to open the page and be ready with a pencil okay so in listening section uh, uh, I will uh, revise something uh, about a reading section and I will compare the reading section with the listening section okay so in reading section we have we have three passages but in listening section there are four parts okay we can say four sections or four parts so how many sections there are four sections section one section two section three section four so while you copy this these things on your notebook i don't want you to mention these symbols okay. i want you to write section one to section three and section four and uh, in listening section as the name says you will hear an audio you will be given headsets okay you simply need to put those headsets on and you listen the audio and you need to write the answers while listening to the audio okay but that doesn't mean they simply play the audio and you will be given all the questions at once and you need to write the answers at once you should not do that there are certain gaps and pauses that's the good news so there are four sections each section consists of 10 questions how many questions 10 questions 10 questions so each section consists of 10 questions so that means altogether there are 40 questions so in the reading section also we had 40 questions in passage one 13 questions in passage 2 13 questions again and in passage 3 14 questions but in case of listening section each section consists of 10 questions there won't be 9 there won't be 11 there will be 10 questions and altogether there are 40 questions okay after this uh, what you need to know is the pattern the pattern of this test so section one is known as the easiest section okay this is the easiest section section two is easier if you compare section one with section two section one is the easiest section two is easier section three is easy and section four is least easy so there is nothing difficult in ielts just people just spread rumors that ielts is difficult it is tough you cannot uh, uh, score in ielts but if you know the techniques if you know the concept and the patterns and the strategies uh, you can score in ielts okay there are higher chances of scoring in ielts just know the patterns okay section one is the easiest section section two is easier section three is easy and section four is least easy now if you are good with uh, fill in the blanks questions then you will find this easy and this list easy so it depends upon yourself if if you are good with multiple choice questions then you will find it more easier than this one and my plan and my ambition my mission is to make each section the easiest one for you at the end of the class now let's talk about question categories so in reading passes we learned that there are two question categories and the one was order questions or let's say follow-up question while the other was 
non order question or uh, non follow up questions right but in case of listening i want you to write this down each information and each question appears in an order this is cambridge ilts book 14 and i've already told you that uh, this is the official IELTS book. Uh, this is a practice book. So if we go to test one, see, we find different types of questions, right? So these are the questions. So there are four parts, 40 questions. Yes, right? So while talking about question types or categories, in listening, there are two categories of questions. Uh, the one is fill in the blanks categories and the next one is multiple choice categories. Let me write it down. I want I will make a tree. Now I want you to turn a new page. Okay, turn a new page and write question categories. Okay, so this is a tree that we're making. Okay. The first category is fill in the blanks. This is the first categories. Okay, this is the fill in the blanks and the another one is multiple choice. So in fill in the blanks questions, there are different types of questions. For example, uh, note or form filling, note or form filling question, table question C flowchart question and another one is short answer question short answer question in these types of questions you will not find any options okay so we have kept it in fill in the blanks question and in multiple choice question there are four distinct types of questions uh, the first one is first or second you can say it's a matching question Okay, this is M A T C H I N G, and another one is choose two questions. Another one is standard multiple choice questions. Okay, standard multiple choice questions and maps that means map questions. So, what we will do is we will talk about each type of questions in fill in the blanks uh, there we do not have different strategies okay i will just teach you uh, the basic strategies of all these questions and we will do all these questions okay and in multiple choice question uh, there are different approaches of uh, these different types of questions you have to do this question differently uh, than doing these questions okay uh, the step of doing this question is different than the step the approach of this question so we, we will talk about these questions individually and let me tell you that these are not the official names of the questions i have just named it differently so that it will be easier for you to recognize these questions later on but these are the official names of these questions okay so after this let me show you one or two questions so here it is page number 10 test one question number one to ten so this is a mm, form filling and note filling question okay this is a form filling and note filling question whereas let's go to part two page number 11 question number 11 to 14 see can you see choose two choose two and it says choose two right so this is a choose two question here it is okay okay let's come to page number 12 here we have question number 15 to 20 there are some blanks so is it a fill in the blanks question yes yes or no yes no it is not because there are certain options above can you see options a b c so you need to choose from these options and write in this blank so this is not a fill in the blanks question but uh, multiple choice question and this is especially matching questions okay and let's come to page number 13 question number 21 to 25 can you see this question number 21 to 25 right one statement three options another statement three options three options statement options statement options so this is standard multiple choice questions we have also talked about these questions in uh, reading passages reading section but in reading section uh, standard multiple choice question consists of four options but in case of uh, listening uh, we have won the three options okay page number 14 now you can tell me what sort of question is this see 
this is a matching question right okay right and in page number 15 uh, we have section 4 the entire question is fill in the blanks question so uh, this is uh, the entire basics of listening test what you need to understand is uh, let me tell it again to you each information and uh, each question appears in an order for example page number 53 see this is part one right can you see it so there are some uh, information here the topic is flanders conference hall and uh, our question number one is below conference facilities you can see that but it's still first of all they will talk about Angela and then they'll talk talk about date available and then February 4th and then they will come to conference facilities and after that you will hear your answer okay so each event even if there is no question they will talk about it each event and each questions everything is on your question paper appears in an order so you need not worry about anything okay see these questions also page number 55 these questions also appear in an order however the options ne never appear appears in an order okay options don't appear in an order if i have told you everything about listening section so we will begin this with fill in the blanks questions appearing in section one and in section one most of the time uh, you will have note filling or form filling questions but sometimes there can be a mix of note filling and table questions uh, table and multiple choice questions but this is a bit um, rare most of the time you will have note filling and form filling questions this is form filling and note filling questions uh, question number one two three uh, it seems to be a form right and question number four to ten it's a note so so these types of questions will appear in the first section okay okay but as the audio begins they will not directly go to section one and they will not simply start giving you the questions and uh, ask you to write the answers first of all you will hear the introduction of the listening test okay what happens in the listening test what you should do in the listening test what you should avoid what do you what will you have what you cannot have okay something like that so so uh, uh, they will talk about the introduction they'll give you the introduction at first and after giving that introduction uh, they will begin section one by saying section one section one right so before that they will give you the introduction so what does the introduction uh, sound like let's let's hear it i'm going to play the introduction of the uh, entire listening test at first uh, as the test begins you will hear the introduction of the listening test and i have written some six to seven points here you will hear six among them okay one point is extra here i want you to find out which of these points uh, are extra so i want you to write one two three four five six seven on a note copy okay and uh, as you hear one you you I, I want you to tick one as you hear five tick five so uh, these points will not uh, appear in an order okay so you need to read it quickly from one to seven and three four six seven randomly and as you hear any of them just tick that uh, point okay tick that number you will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Okay, so uh, that was the introduction of listening test. Uh, I hope you have uh, separated the extra point. So which is the extra point? Did you find? Did you find the extra point? Yes or no? Okay, so this is the extra point. Uh, the bad news is they will not serve tea for you. They will not even serve water unless you ask for it. So if you are feeling thirsty, uh, you can ask for water. But um, uh, if you want to drink, drink tea or coffee, you cannot ask for tea or coffee. They are not there to serve you tea or coffee. Okay. 
so this is not going to be there uh, point number one let me explain you will hear different recordings because each section consists of different context okay the, the context of section one is different than the context of section two two is different than three and three is different than four okay contexts are different and recordings will be played once only so they are not going to stop the recording because you missed the answer they are not going to pause the recording and rewind it because you are confused with the answer okay so they will simply play the recording for once they will pause time in again but they will keep playing on time to read the instructions and the questions before playing uh, the actual audio they will give you some time to read the question for example in section one they may ask you to read question one to five at first and then they will play they will give you 30 seconds to read the question and after that they will play the audio and give you the answer of question number one to five and again they will give you 30 seconds time to read the answer si question six to ten and then they will play the audio six to ten okay so this goes on like this in section 2 also uh, they will give you some time to read questions 11 to 13 or sometimes 11 to 14 or 11 to 15 so they are not going to play the entire section at once they will give you uh, a break somewhere in between okay so that is again a good news for you time to read the instructions and questions okay this point is very important and i will discuss and i will even show it to you okay what does this mean and six uh, question number six uh, point number six is extra 10 minutes to transfer the answers to the answer set so what you need to understand is this is just your question paper after you write the answers you need to copy the answers to the answer set answer set looks like this wait give me okay so this is your answer set can you see this yes see one two three four blah da 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 38 39 and 40 so uh, so this is just your question paper uh, while you hear the audio you need to write the answers um, on this paper okay so after the audio is played uh, they will give you 10 extra minutes 10 extra minutes that means 10 minutes time to copy the answers into the answer sheet is that clear yes so this is just a question paper after you get outside the exam uh, um, examination hall they will simply throw this question paper paper into the dustbin and they will simply take this answer sheet only okay so this is not important for them this is the most important thing uh, in ilts listening as in reading right i have also already talked about this in reading section there is no difference um, between the reading answer answer sheet and listening answer sheet okay now let's go to another one test is in four sections i've already told about this to you okay so this is the end of class one this is the entire basic that i've given to you so uh, i've not told you about the context of um, uh, section one two three and four uh, section one is all about um, okay let me talk about this because i think i i missed it okay i should not have missed it but even if i missed it no problem i will talk about it now let's get to whiteboard so i want you to write section one two three and four again okay in section one oh how could i miss it right this is this is really important i should not have missed it but see uh, i missed it right my my bad in section one you will hear two voices that is very important okay uh, so you are listening to an audio that means somebody will be speaking right somebody will be speaking in section one you will hear two voices that means somebody is making inquiry to somewhere for example uh, if i'm sick i will give a call to the hospital and the receptionist there will ask me my name contact number which doctor i prefer to visit what is my problem and i simply tell her that my name is this my problem is that so this is all about uh, form filling and note keeping sort of questions so i make inquiries uh, she asks me questions i give answers so uh, this is all about two people two voices this is totally based on non academic scenario non c a d e m i c non academic scenario sometimes you may uh, call to cinema hall for ticket booking right oh, and uh, some sometimes uh, some conversation may have uh, um, i may be calling to to uh, to a bus uh, station counter for ticket booking 
okay so i simply make inquiries about the tickets so there are two voices one makes inquiries other answers right so this is all about two voices non-academic context and making inquiries a daily life experiences sort of thing and in section two you will hear one voice somebody is explaining about something for example if you go to zoo the guide will explain about the zoo so you will simply listen to the guide right so you will only hear one voice and this is also based on uh, non-academic scenario so in section three you will hear two to three voices okay you will hear two to three voices okay so mm, this may be must probably there will be one teacher or tutor uh, who will be talking with two students about their academic conditions about their thesis about the dissertations okay so there can be two to three voices and this is completely based academic context and in section four there is one voice so somebody uh, let's say a teacher explaining about something something academic for example it can be uh, uh, the life of dolphin it can be uh, it can be the history of Nepal uh, okay it can be in any academic context so only one teacher will speak other will listen so section 4 is exactly like this I'm speaking you are listening and this is the section 4 and you will only hear one voice and this is also academic academic context okay if so what you need to understand is in section one you will hear two voices in section two you will hear one voice in section three you will hear two to three voices and in section four one voice again now uh, in other classes I will be talking about the importances of voices you should not take it for granted who cares I just want my answer see if you have this attitude then there will be a problem okay you must be very careful with the voices hmm okay so let's do this much for class one uh, I will explain um, fill in the blanks questions in the second part I am Sagun Samrat Sangrola your instructor your friend I've seen that students are struggling for IELTS materials and they're not still satisfied with the classes they take that's why I have designed this course in a detailed way in this course I will also give you exclusive techniques never had known techniques uh, let's talk about the format of this class in its section we will talk about its question and i will give you the strategies and techniques of doing the particular question and i will also tell you why you need to apply that strategy why you need to apply that technique for example in case of reading section first of all we will do fill in the blanks question i will give you all the ins and outs of fill in the blanks question and after that i will give you the technique and I will also teach you how to manage your time, how to do the answers quickly. But the same technique may not apply to another question. So there will be another technique for another question. So this goes on. And after the class, I will give you some assignments. So you need to do the assignments and send it to me, get the feedback and go to another class. And this is especially applicable in writing section. In writing section, you need to do the assignment. In reading section, you will get the assignment in PDF format after each class. Uh, so we will learn and we will practice. We will learn and we will practice again. This is the format of the class. I will deliver what I had promised. Now you need to deliver me what you are dedicated to. So you need to do your assignments and you need to be interactive you cannot learn or you do not learn simply by watching the videos you need to do the assignments and you can even contact me whenever you need okay so thank you so much enjoy the course enjoy IELTS happy IELTS